Y'all already know, man. Straight out that country, man. I'm from Navasota, Texas, 936, by way of College Station, Texas. You feel me? Been here for about, mm, about a good little minute. I'll say that. Good little minute. But I was born and raised in Navasota, Texas. It's a lot more talent than it was back in the day. Not to say that it wasn't any, but it's a lot more coming out of the woodworks now. It's a lot more youngsters coming out that, that are really talented. Uh... Female rappers, oh my God, they're, they're, I love them. I love them. They're great. They're, it's a lot of, uh, and we actually got a lot of veteran rappers that are still making noise. For example, Uncle Ju, which happens to be my favorite rapper from around here. Um, you know, my brother Franchise. Um, I mean, the list goes on, man. Like, it's, uh, you know, free, free, free Jazzy. Jazzy been out there for a minute. Nino. Uh, P. Roy, it's it's a lot of people. I can the list goes on, but uh, it that's to not take any credit from the up and coming rappers. But I mean, hey, Kali, I see it's it's one thing to have your own lane, but to break through in the music to let you know, hey, you know, Kali Station or the 979, 936 area got something to say was definitely pioneered by those those rappers, including myself. Promote yourself, market yourself, invest in yourself. A lot of people think that, you know, if you're talented and you, you got a hot track or a hot record out, you can just put it out and it's going to catch fire. It, in a perfect world, yeah, that'll happen, but this ain't no perfect world. You have to invest in yourself. You have to market yourself and you have to promote yourself and stay consistent. If you, you go in the studio and you make a hot record, First off, you have to put money behind the quality of the music, you know, in GK. And you also have to make sure that whenever you, you got to brand yourself as an artist as well. If you just like, hey, I'm DJ such and such or whatever, and I got this record, people are going to look at you crazy because what's going to make you different from the next artist that just did that? Because everybody's rapping. That can be their name, that can be their image. Uh, what they represent. Let me start out by saying, um, you know, my album that I just dropped a couple months ago, Different Approach, that uh, is actually doing really, really, really well. And I had the second, the follow-up album done within a month. Uh, but it was on hold because I had to get a, a few tracks cleared, uh, samples that were cleared. And so I'm waiting on the last one now. And that'll be out as soon as I get that email. It's dropping that week. You know, I got my brother's franchise, my brother Greasy. Shout out Greasy, shout out Franchise. Uh, I got Propane on the album. And I got the infamous Sauce Walker on the album. You know, shout out to my bro Sauce. The thing about it is, I actually caught The Deal Is Real a couple days too late. That's actually why I went up there, because I thought I was going catch to catch that little deal. But... Um, so when I went up there, you know, he was already done with it, but he was like, man, you know, I've actually heard about you. Uh, Sosa man actually, uh, DM me one time and he said, yeah, heard about me or whatever. So I'm like, you know what? This might be my perfect opportunity. So I go up, I go to the sauce factory, me and my manager, uh, Jay, uh, which is underscore young King 304. And we go up there and we we link up with them. They were all they all happen to still be in the studio, but you you can't just go up there. So we, Miss Megan, who was his manager, uh, we go way back to this when to the early click days. So Miss Megan, Miss Megan has always showed support to me and my brothers, always. And so you know we ran a little deal with her, and so she was like, well you know Sauce is here, Propane's here, who you want? So I was like, I want some Sauce and Pro. I mean, I don't think that's ever been done before. Like, people have gotten songs with pros. People have gotten songs with Sauce Walker, but then, you know, just merged them on the track. I had the, I had the record that I think they would both take a liking to, and which they did. And so uh, it's crazy how that night went because uh, everybody, I'm, well, it was a lot of TSF artists there that night. I was at the Sauce Factory. And so uh, we, we ended up, Locking in in the studio, um, boom! I I went ahead and dropped out the bread to the uh, to Miss Megan for the features to go ahead and lock it in. I went ahead and dropped out for the studio session, 
And I also went ahead and dropped out for the video to be shot that night. I, so I dropped all that out that night and they seen that I was serious, which that's what I mean. Like people don't really mess with you unless you're investing in yourself. And so I went ahead, did all that. They knocked the features and the video out that same night at the South Factory. Okay, so Earl Mac was, uh, is the main character's girlfriend's ex-boyfriend from high school. Now, they had a fling, they had a love. Now, they grew apart over time. Um, the My character went on to play professional basketball. You know, after his run in the, in the league, he came back home to do charity work, coach Little League. Just so happens that he coaches the his ex-girlfriend's son. So uh, now I feel like Earl Mack and, you know, the Aaliyah, shout out to Aaliyah, was uh, they they didn't they didn't finish their fling. Earl Earl know she still got their place in her for her, and he just trying to make her see that. And I think she do. The movie actually just got picked up in Miami at the Urban Music, uh, Film Festival. So it's it's already on its way to the major leagues, you know what I mean? So uh, you'll be you'll probably be seeing that on the big screens and the turnouts for for the uh, the filming of it or the screening of it was amazing. It was red carpet affair. Everybody showed up. Shout out Mel Bowser, who happens to be the uh, main character in the movie. Uh, I had my brother in it. I was blessed to have my brother in it. Um, Greasy. Greasy. My brother Greasy played a dirty cop in this film, in which I still have yet to touch to it, touch bases with him about that. But uh, he actually played a dirty cop that was uh, actually trying to take down uh, the main character, Malik. That is definitely a movie that you can watch over and over again. I want a two. You want to know why I want a two? Because if you got a ten, you got to I got to keep up with that maintenance. She too dumb too. Or she may do it, but that's all That's all she worth. She don't bring no value to me. I'm trying to escalate. And if my two can get behind me and push her, push me, then that two gonna take me to where I need to be. She's gonna be a 10 at the end of the day. She's gonna be a 10. Because a 10 that, that don't have nothing about her and all she got to offer is that, she ain't gonna do nothing but bring me back to her, her level and I ain't trying to go there. Fresh face. Fresh Phase, this is my, I'm, I just happen to be the ambassador of Fresh Phase. So Fresh Phase, uh, we're trying to go with independent uh, upcoming clothing lines that, because you know, I'm, I'm always in designer. I, I would always do designer, but I'm, my first choice was gonna be Fresh Phase. And after that, I'm supporting local businesses, you know, to, to the point to where I can, if, if, we, if one of us make it, we all make it. Okay, so first and foremost, I'm a I'm a read them in the beginning anyway, because we gonna throw date first date ideas out, and if these if you talking about oh take me to Nobu or take me to 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 you know something classy and this and that and the third that's an automatic turn off because first and foremost I don't even know you like that. If we on our way to the house, we could pick up McDonald's on the way there. And if she cool with that, that's gonna keep my attention. You wanna know why? It's not that she's settling, but she know the situation. She just trying to get to know me. But if you trying to tell me to take you to all these fancy spots, Steak 48, Root Chris, all this right here, like first and foremost, you probably ain't even been there before. You just feel looking at me and think that it's an opportunity to to go there already. If I offer you it's like, yo, let's go on this date or whatever, I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a make sure that I pay. But it, if you telling me I want you to take me out on a date, I'm probably gonna say that. Well, let's split it. And like, you know what I mean? Cause you don't you don't demand my courtship. You don't demand me be a gentleman to you. That's something that I do on my own. So if you gotta ask, if you telling me. Take me here, take me there. I'ma tell you to pay half. I'm like this, bro. I'ma do the Hellcat. I'ma go. I'ma go with the Hellcat, cause you know what I'm saying. I, I I like fast cars. I like fast cars, and I like to keep up with the times. But every once in a while, I might want to chill. So if I get that, it'll be very rare to bring that out. But every day, I'ma do. I'ma probably do Hellcat one day, Trackhawk the next day. 
um, scat the next day. Okay, so my list is a kind is kind of different from everybody else's list. You wanna know why? Cause I'm a I'm a I'm all about authenticity. Authenticity. So with that being said, I'm gonna go with some food trucks. I'm gonna go with the food trucks first, and cause that's a wide variety. So I can't just put one or three of them. Food trucks first. I'm gonna go with. Um, I'm gonna go with. Miss Patty's next, which is a soul food spot off of uh, Belford. Okay, okay. And then I'm gonna go with. Uh, <laughs> I'm from the hood. We gonna go with Waffle House. <laughs> The all-star scramble with cheese, sausage, regular waffle, regular motherfucking uh, toast, grits with cheese on it. Man, shout out GK Studios, man. GK is one of the most professional studio, if not the most professional studio uh, here in the BCS. Uh, they're very professional. I like the fact that, you know what I'm saying, they, they'll get your stuff to you in a timely fashion. They have it sounding nice. They have it sounding uh, radio ready. Um, they they don't just uh, do one thing. Like, cause you can go to GK and shoot and record your song, mix your song, master your song, and record a video to your song. You know what I mean? All in you know one go. They uh they're very like I said they're very professional. They're time oriented. Um, you know and they they treat you like family. Yeah, when I tell you it's ready, it's like, and I mean it. From the top of my from the top of my head to the bottom of my feet, GK Studios got the layout of your top of the line studio uh, scene. Like you you got your you got your videos playing. That you got the soundproof booth. You got the top top of the line mics, top of the line equipment. You got beverages in there whenever you lock in for a while. Yeah, you ain't got to worry about nothing. I don't give a damn about neither one of them. You want to know why? Due to the fact that they're just a spokesperson. The people that I really want to concentrate on is the con the congressman, the legislator, the senate. I want to see the people that's actually making the bills, making the laws. They ain't doing nothing but telling him and he telling us. You know what I'm saying? So I don't care who's the spokesperson. You know what I mean? I would much rather concentrate on your 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 people that's actually doing this. Your Supreme Court your, uh, justices, uh, all of them. So. Until we get a say so in that, I don't really care either way. Yeah, I mean they ain't do nothing but generate two gangs, blue and red, and that's Republican and Democrat, and they they concentrating on divide and conquer. So, uh, and until we all as a as a people understand that, I don't care. Y'all go to all DSPs, top to bottom, y'all and uh. Look for D Love, aka Mag Tony. You know what I'm saying? That the album Different Approach is out. Recess is over, is on the way. Um, I mean, everything. Lives of Wolves being picked up in Miami. Uh, Karma coming. We got a lot of stuff that I don't even want to tell y'all, man. We, but we on the way, man. Keep your eyes open. <laughs>